What is a tin can pocket posy? Well, this is an example of a tin can pocket posy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to prep one. Now you'll notice here, I'm showing you that the back of the can, that is where you put the seam. You're going to want to have some sort of hanger here, and I'm showing you that I used just some paper coated wire, drilled a hole on each side, which I'll show you all that, and did little curlicues. This is pretty simple. It would be a lot easier if you had a vise, but I don't have a vise, so here is how I did it. So I've got the can there. I didn't get all the glue off. Probably would be better if you would do that. Now you have to have a can that you can open with a can opener on both ends. And you know how sometimes when you open the can, you've got that little bit of a rough edge? Well, I take a file and I file down that little curly thing that sometimes comes up at the end of when you're opening the can because I want it to be smooth. Even if it's going to be at the bottom, I don't want to get cut on it. So I use my file. Now next, because I don't have a vise, um, I'm going to use my hands to kind of smash it down and I'm deciding, okay, there's the seam. So I'm going to gently take my hands and push a little at the top, but then more and more toward the bottom. Now that gets a little hard to do, so I start taking my hammer, push a little bit more, and then I'm going to lightly tap and then more ferociously tap with the hammer. And I work the front side first, and then I flip over and hammer the back side, and then flip it back over and hammer the front side. And I make it where there's just slightly a um, slant to it. Now, before I finish closing this one up, I need to add an embellishment that I've already made, and it is a tassel. If you watch the next videos where I show you five different designs of these tin can pocket posies, uh, you'll see first how I make each tassel. But before I finish hammering it, I want to glue this in. Now you could just glue it to the back, but I sell these in my booth and on Etsy in my store, so I want it to look very professional and I don't want you to be able to see the hanging part uh, from the back side because someone may hang it where you can see all sides of the pocket posy. So I'm gluing that in first and then I will hammer it down until it's as closed as it possibly can be on the bottom. See how simple that was? Now to drill the holes in the sides, I like to use my, a clamp to clamp down the can. Um, and then you're going to pick which size bit you want to use. In the previous one I used an eighth inch bit because I knew I was just going to use that very thin wire and I didn't want a big gaping hole that wasn't going to be filled up with whatever size hanger uh, that I was going to choose to use. I think I went just a tiny bit bigger with these because I am, I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to use. Now I'm left handed so it's easier for me to work from the left side. So you're going to see me drill the hole, flip the can over and work from the same side. I do well to get this done by myself so that's the easiest way for me to do it.
after you drill your holes, it's especially important to use a file again to smooth down both on the inside and the outside so that it will not cut anyone and it also won't cut whatever type of hanger that you're going to be threading through those holes. And that's it, folks. That's the prep on the Tin Can Pocket Posy. So stay tuned and click on the next videos where you will see me do these five very different designs. <laughs>